A sigh of relief from some neighbors in Montgomery County. Today, a judge denied bond for a man accused of using a bulldozer and other tactics in a battle with his neighbors. Our Megan Fitzgerald is in Silver Spring now with details of the suspect's capture and the court hearing. Megan? And Jim, emotions are mixed tonight. Some folks say Socrates Condolis was the victim of harassment, but according to court documents and evidence given to detectives, that doesn't indicate to be the case. But many neighbors we talked to say they're just thankful to detectives for aggressively tackling this case. It's been a long and expensive road for some people who live in this Silver Spring neighborhood. George Buckland had to hire an attorney and install cameras to prove that Socrates Condolis was harassing him for years. These pictures show him using a bobcat to tear down his fence. He also used his white van to block a neighbor's driveway. He was breaking windows. He was threatening animals. He had torn down a fence. Montgomery County Sheriff Darren Popkin says Condolis also violated a peace order and falsified documents after a judge ordered him to undergo anger management classes. Was tried and convicted for perjury, and as a result of that, he failed to appear for his sentencing, which created a, a situation where a warrant was issued. Popkin sent his deputies out to arrest Condolis sending a message that victimizing others won't be tolerated. On Wednesday morning, a Montgomery County judge denied bond for Condolis and ordered him to stay in jail until his sentencing hearing in September. Condolis' wife, who didn't want to go on camera, disagrees with the court and believes her husband is the victim. Nobody has come to knock my door to ask me what's going on. But for residents who say they've witnessed his frightening behavior, they're thankful. He won't be around for a while. Life can get back to normal because we have a, a wonderful neighborhood. It's, it's definitely a sigh of relief. Now, Condolis is facing up to four years in prison, but prosecutors are calling for two with five years probation. His sentencing is set for September 23rd. Doreen.